Hi, and welcome to another edition of Bauer Business Bites. My name is David Ty, the Managing Director of Bauer Media here in Northern Ireland. And I'm really delighted to welcome our guest this week. It's Colin Neal, who's the Chief Executive of Hospitality Ulster. Hello, Colin. Good afternoon, David. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. And uh, I must just say before we get into it that it is the 24th of June today. I don't normally put a timestamp on these uh, interviews, but because situations are changing on a daily basis, I think it's probably just worth saying uh, that before we get into the um, conversation. So uh, tell me about Hospitality Ulster. Who does it represent and uh, what does it try to achieve? Well, we're a membership body, uh, and as the name suggests, it's the hospitality industry in Northern Ireland, and that includes pubs, bars, restaurants, hotels, indeed visitor attractions, and the airports would be our members, and we have a, a focus on food and beverage, and it really is about supporting our industry, uh, supporting the people that own the business, but also the jobs that they provide. Over sixty thousand, over sixty-five thousand people work in our industry. And with it's a turnover of nearly two billion a year, we actually um, buy one third of Northern Ireland's agri food production. So we have a huge footprint, and we're a key element of the tourism offer. Wow, I didn't realise that. Um, that. That's pretty uh, pretty big numbers there. Um, so obviously, right now the situation is uh, precarious. I would say for your membership, and I suppose they're looking at various different parts of the world and they're seeing things opening up. What's the current situation uh, for your diverse membership in Northern Ireland? Well, I mean, I, th this is, I mean, the, the industry has been dealt a body blow, uh, as, as have lots of businesses, but the hospitality industry has suffered the worst because we've been practically totally closed. Currently, uh, as we speak today, the Northern Ireland Executive have given uh, an indicative date of the 3rd of July for sections of our hospitality industry to open. Uh, and that really means hotels can open, uh, restaurants can open, and bars operating in, as restaurants indoors can open. You can only go to a what we term a wet only, a, a traditional type pub, um, and buy alcohol only outdoors. Uh, and we still sit obviously with the two meter rule, and two meters provide a particular challenge for us, because a lot of our premises are small premises we're a very much a small prem, a small business industry uh, and two meter social distancing just means the majority will be, not be viable so trying to get that um trying to square that when you start thinking about your favorite pub uh and being two meters away from everybody it's a really difficult one to uh to get your head around so what is hospitality ulster suggesting is the is the way forward Look, I mean, this is primarily about health and safety of people. It's, you know, the health of the nation is paramount, uh, and the and the health of our staff and our customers is paramount because they're our most important asset. You know, without them, we're a people industry. We sell socialising, and then you might have a drink or you might have something to eat. But I mean, there are measures that you can put in place and say we have extensive guidance for our industry. It runs to hundreds of pages about the mitigations that you can put in place to actually you know, reduce the spread of this virus. Uh, and we have been talking to our ministers here. Uh, you look at World Health Organization as one meter, many countries around the world are one meter, and indeed we've seen the Republic of Ireland and England go to one meter. They call it one meter plus. It's those, what are the mitigations to bring it down? And we are calling in the Northern Ireland Assembly to do the same. Yeah, um, and uh, if so, so I suppose looking at the pers perspective of a, a customer or a consumer, um, is the pub experience to just to focus on pubs? Not not that I've uh, not that I think about pubs often, but to, to focus on a pub, is the customer experience going to be massively different in the new world? Do you think? How, how does it work practically? Uh, because I'm hearing things about apps to order drinks, and I'm hearing about all sorts of different ways it's going to be. Yes, look, it is going to be different. Uh, I think that's one of our challenges. People remember the industry of you know shoulder to shoulder pubs and back to back restaurants, and we have to change because we've got to build in the safety margins. 
it will be different in every premise because every premise is different and how they go about putting in the mitigations, putting in protective screens, putting in procedures. And it's really about each premise looking at behavioral, technological and physical solutions uh, to actually protect people uh, and make it function. I think it's really important in our industry that it, it doesn't feel like a doctor's waiting room when you come in because that people are there to relax, you know, to, to be able to maybe escape the troubles of the world. But obviously we've got to reassure the customer that all the procedures, both in front of their face and behind the scenes are there to protect them. Yeah, it's, um, and, and in all the conversations that I have, there seems to be two, two strands. There seems to be the internal, how do we look after our staff and our the people that work in our industry? And then there's the external, how can we convince the general public um, that, that, that things are safe in terms of the experience? Um, what about the future then? So what would Hospitality Ulster be saying to the politicians right now? What, what do you need? What do your membership need to be able to survive this period and get through it? Well, I mean, one, we need to reopen. Uh, we need dates for everybody. We need dates for um, wet only pubs as well, which we haven't got yet, because all of the jobs in furlough are only being preserved. They're not saved until we're back up and running uh, but we also need the government to work with us because you know at two meters uh, you'll do about 30 percent of your turnover that's not viable you know you might as well stay closed and go broke slowly as open up and go broke quickly so one meter would make us more or less sustainable about 70 percent just under our sustainable levels but again we will need further government interventions to help us with this we have a year-long rates holiday but we will need more help as we go forward and we need more help to, to look after the staff that we can't bring back initially until they're, you know, until we get up to a level where we can actually re-employ people. And I think the horrible fact of this is no matter what we do, we won't be able to save all businesses and all jobs, but we really need now the government to continue working with us. And I have to praise the Northern Ireland Assembly. They have done incredible things and they have helped our industry to date but just giving us a reopening date isn't job done we will need help for the foreseeable future i mean tourism is gone which is a third of our turnover over 600 million we need campaigns to keep domestic tourism here uh, but we will need help for businesses that just can't reopen the like of maybe a nightclub or even at one meter there'll be many of premise will look and go, it's still not viable, uh, you know, and we will need help to keep them as they are now in the deep freeze suspended until such times as this, this, this situation changes. Yeah, well, that's uh, very well put, Colin, and thank you for giving us that uh, clarity. And as I said, all of us here at Bauer Media in Northern Ireland um, will help as much as we can the hospitality industry here in Northern Ireland. Um, we, we have a lot to do with the hospitality industry as well in terms of clients and um, uh, co-promotions on different events. So uh, I think whatever your membership needs, we are happy to support uh, the membership across the, uh, the next few months. I wish you the very best of luck and um, thank you very much for being our guest today on Bauer Business Bites and your overview. It's been, it's been really insightful. Thank you, David.